given question a cylinder of mass m is suspended from an inextensible cord as shown in the diagram find the natural frequency of the system mass of pulley is neglected let us understand the given system through the center of pulley mass m is suspended through which the spring is also connected with stiffness k2 now this pulley is attached to the inextensible cord and on the other end spring with stiffness k1 is also connected to the pulley now if we observe this mass m is displaced through a distance x in the downward direction and that is mentioned in the question now in the same direction of displacement there is the accelerating force that will act so we have to mention here this accelerating force that is f is equal to m into a that is x double dot so in terms of displacement only we will show this force f is equal to m into x double dot so x double dot that is acceleration now due to this displacement x in the downward direction this spring force will act in the opposite direction of displacement that is in the upward direction so we will consider this spring force with stiffness k2 that is fs2 and the spring force with stiffness k1 that will act in the upward direction fs1 now when this mass m will move in the downward direction then what will happen to this pulley now for this pulley of the ma mass of this pulley is negligible and that is mentioned in the question so because of this cord is inextensible that means this cord is not elastic and that is the reason why this pulley will rotate along this inextensible cord so there is the rotational motion of this pulley but this mass of the pulley is inextensible so we should not consider the mass moment of inertia for this pulley for the rotational motion so when this pulley is getting rotated along this inextensible cord then here is the point c that will connection of the point of connection in between this cord as well as spring with stiffness k1 so what will happen to this point c now we will consider this whole pulley that is this whole system will move in the downward direction because this mass m is also moving in the downward direction this mass m is connected to the center of the pulley so this point o will also displace from o to o dash in the downward direction and this displacement of the pulley we will consider as a delta so i will show here this and with another diagram that is this point o will displace in the downward direction through a distance of delta and here the new position of this point o that is o dash now along the horizontal line there are two points a and b so here is also two points a dash and b dash that is the new position of this point a and b now what will happen to this point c so here is the original position of the point c so here is the original position of the point c but this cord is not elastic so it this cord this, this point c will move in the downward direction and here this downward direction how much distance it will move in the downward direction so it will move that is two times of this delta so two delta so we have to mention here as a distance displaced for this point c as a two delta so what is the total extension for this spring k1 because this spring with stiffness k1 will be stretched due to displacement in the downward direction and this displacement of this uh, dis uh, with stiffness k1 that is 2 delta so the stretching of the spring with stiffness k1 will be equal to 2 delta so this is important point because here 2 times of delta because this pulley will rotate along this inextensible torque inextensible cord and that's why here this total extension of this uh, spring will be 2 delta now how we can write here this displacement x 
so this displacement x is equal to we will consider this delta because whole this system will move in the downward direction through a distance delta and here is also spring with stiffness k2 so this spring with stiffness k2 will extend through a distance of y so we will consider that is the displacement or stretching of this spring with stiffness k2 will be equal to y so this is our consideration so this total system will move in the downward direction x is equal to this delta plus y now we have to find out the equation for the natural frequency so equation of the natural frequency we have to find out in terms of x double dot and x x double dot that is the ac linear acceleration and x is the linear displacement so we have to find out this value of delta and y so how to find out this value of delta and y so again we will draw here the free body diagram for this pulley then at this point c for and and for this mass m and we will find the replacement for this delta and y so first we will move to this pulley now if we observe for this pulley to the center what is the acceleration force that is getting acted so acceleration force which is in the downward direction so i will mention here this force now when this force will act in the downward direction through the center of pulley then here is the inextensible cord so it is not elastic and that's why the tension is getting created but in the opposite direction of this f so we will show here the tension t and that will in the opposite direction so both in both of this cord tension t is getting created so from this free body of this pulley here the point a b and here is the point of connection o we can say that 2t is equal to minus f now we will consider the sign so for this downward direction we will consider negative sign and for the upward direction we will consider positive sign so because f is in the downward direction so we will say that minus f is equal to 2t now what is this t now again we will move to the point c that is free body diagram at this point c so if we observe point c is the connection in between this in in extensible cord and spring so here spring force fs1 will act in the upward direction so here we have to show fs1 and because fs1 will act in the upward direction so same amount of force will act in the downward direction and the tension is getting created along this inextensible cord and this tension we will say as a t now what is this value of fs1 so we know that this spring will be stretched with a value of 2 delta so spring force that is equal to k1 into 2 delta that is stiffness multiplied by this total amount that is getting displaced that is 2 delta so we can say that t is equal to k1 into 2 delta so from this value we can find out the value of delta so delta is equal to t by 2 k1 so here we will put this value so delta is equal to t by 2 k1 or value of t k1 to delta we will put here so 2 multiplied by so simple way we will replace this t so how to replace this t we will simply put k1 to delta so 2 multiplied by 2 4 so 4 k1 delta now value of delta is equal to minus f by 4 k1 so here x is equal to we will put the value minus f by 4 k1 now this minus f that is the acceleration force so we can also write m into x double dot and k1 is the spring stiffness so that is also mentioned in the diagram now in the same way we will replace this y so y is the displacement of this spring k2 now we will draw the free body diagram of this mass m so for this mass m if we observe force f will act in the downward direction 
and when this force f will act in the downward direction then the spring force will act in the opposite direction that is in the upward direction so how we can write this fs2 that is k2 into y so we can write here so i will mention here fs2 is equal to k2 into y and here force f is there now for downward direction we have to use negative sign that is minus f is equal to k2 into y so again we will find the replacement for this y so y is equal to minus f by k2 so we have we get here x is equal to minus f by 4 k1 minus because here already minus sign minus f by k2 now we will simplify this so if we simplify this so here instead of f we will put m into x double dot and when we put here m into x double dot then we will get the equation in terms of x as well as x double dot and we can easily get the equation for the natural frequency now we will take minus f as a common term so x is equal to minus f in bracket 1 by 4 k1 plus 1 by k2 bracket complete now we will put the value of f f is equal to m into x double dot so we will put here x is equal to minus m x double dot and we will simplify this bracket as a k2 plus 4 k1 divided by 4 k1 k2 now again we will transfer this right hand side to the left hand side so x plus m into x double dot in bracket k2 plus 4 k1 by 4 k1 k2 is equal to 0 now we will divide by m on both these sides because m is the coefficient of x double dot so if we divide here with m into this bracket so i will uh, rewrite this term as a this m i will transfer in the bracket so it will become x plus x double dot into here bracket complete m and then we will divide on both sides with the coefficient of x double dot so if i divide on both sides then it will become x double dot plus 4 k1 k2 divided by k2 plus 4 k1 by m bracket complete x is equal to 0 now we will uh, equate this equation with x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to 0 then this omega n square is equal to this bracket so value of omega n is equal to under root of this bracket and we have the formula for natural frequency in terms of omega n that is omega n by 2 pi so final answer natural frequency fn is equal to 1 by 2 pi under root of 4 k1 k2 divided by k2 plus 4 k1 into m.